we're gonna save because I don't want to lose all that progress anything can go wrong and I don't want to lose all that progress after working my way through all of that and avoiding all those spears by pyramid head so we're gonna save just in case Seven hours and 31 minutes. This game usually can be completed in like in like five hours or less, but depending on what you do, you can stretch it out. I find it easier. I find it's much more entertaining to just stretch it out rather than trying to rush through everything. Unless you're going for a 10-star ranking, because unless you soak up the atmosphere and the story of the game and all the weird and odd stuff you find in the town, there's a newspaper on the ground. Stay with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible. The last day is the body of a man later identified as Thomas Oro Lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the Ong Line.
it should, it should only take you a couple of shots to kill this thing. It's not a big, huge challenge. Yeah, he does little damage to James with that. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. So it's a fleshy, moist ground. You can see the pillars pumping in and out of the room there. So it's obvious what went on here, wasn't it? You know, as if Angela's dialogue didn't tell you explicitly, they also had to spell it out for you with the design of the room. So it may sound unfair of her to accuse James of all that. Because obviously she's basically judging all men, including him, by what she's experienced. But that's the victim mentality basically that she has. And it tells you a lot what, about what she's been through. And of course there is some truth to it regarding James. You know, I don't think he's as quite as bad as she as she accused, but she's, she's still not completely. And now that monster is going to become a commonplace enemy later on for a little bit in the hotel. You know, what's interesting about this game is the sensitivity to it sensitivity that the developers show here like it's amazing that a game made in 2002 basically 
still treats rape and molestation and stuff like that more sensitively than most TV shows and movies made in 2018. Like, oh my god, I've read either Teen Silent was full of really sensitive guys and women, or else we really haven't come that far. Like, have we really not come that far in like 16 years? Where a game from 2002 shows more maturity and sensitivity towards the subject than most modern TV shows and movies. Not to mention games, too. Like, there's been a couple controversies recently in games, particularly, particularly the last one with Lara Croft a, a few years ago. Where people were saying, oh, a game is not mature enough to handle the subject of sexual abuse. And it's like, well, Silent Hill 2 handled it back in 2002, so I guess well, it depends solely on, on who's writing the game. Some people do a good job, some people do a terrible job. But there's no way to generalize. It's like Metal Gear and how it skirts around some subjects sometimes. Sometimes, depending on if Kojima's writing it, it's great. Other times, he makes mistakes or it's not so great. But it depends solely on the writers. Alright, so we gotta find a key to find a way to unlock these handcuffs because we gotta turn that handle. You can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. So yeah, I have tremendous respect for Team Silent for the way they handle the story of Angela here because there's a lot of game developers and there's a lot of writers in movies and TV, period, who wouldn't have shown even a tenth of the maturity that they show here. So gotta give kudos to the Japanese, especially with their troubled background sometimes. You know, there's some troubling things about their country that as much as I admire them and their culture there's a couple of things that make you raise some eyebrows or kind of wonder what's going on but here these guys were pros these guys knew what they were doing and that's what you want in a game like this or a game with any type of serious story you want someone You, you want someone, you want a team who's not afraid to handle tough subjects. You know, controversial subjects, but they're also not gonna, you know, back off and just do it one way. Okay, so here we have one of the most intriguing and famous puzzles in the entire game. I wanted to, I wanted to read the famous note first, but we'll start here. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. Justice and reverse have been served. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Justice and revenge have been served. First of all, the sentences here are really harsh if you notice. Like, some of these crimes are minor petty stuff and they still receive Which cho shows you what was going on in this town around like the eight, late 1800s, early 1900s. Like, they were harsh and brutal. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge have been served. So those aren't so bad yet. The crimes. Now we get to the heavy ones. This man was hung for the crime of murder. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have, have been served. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Justice and revenge have been served. So you gotta remember the positions of these guys. So that was a swindler. This is a counterfeiter. Thievery. Murder. Kidnapping. Arson. Because that's gonna become important in a moment.
here's the most famous puzzle of this entire game and the most famous memo or rhyme whatever that you get dead men dead men swinging in a tree how many dead men do you see tongue turned blue and face gone gray watch them as they twist and sway the first one killed the butcher man they cooked him in a frying pan served them to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on request Ew, so he basically did what uh, what was it that barber Sweeney Todd did they served the people so that's what this guy did he actually served them the cooked fried man the next one with his smile and sweets stole poor children off the streets to men who dressed on savory he sold them into slavery so that's obviously the kidnapper he was, he was selling the children into slavery probably sexual slavery too knowing uh, this game and how dark it gets oh, I skipped past the last one I gotta go back breaking into a home at night the thief he had a nasty fright filled his foolish head with ale woke in the morning in the county jail so that's the thief the artist with his daunty skill tried his hand at painting bills but caught in rain he was undone when the ink he'd used it start to run there's the counterfeiter with promises of great return taking gold he did not earn bond sight quietly slipped off into the night So there's the other guy. And then finally, three houses into ashes burn. The sheriff with no place to turn did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. So there's the arsonist, the so-called arsonist. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their, nukes, round their necks, their noose be tied. So you notice there the sign says one thing. Poe once on a corpses or the ropes frayed in, go and return and they ever be mended. Beware though the punishment send it. And when you read it instead it says, Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. It's funny how it reads something completely different from what it says, it's like Resident Evil where you read the signs and it'll be saying something about technical details or electricity or voltage or whatever and then when you read the actual signs it says food toys <laughs> one of the most famous easter eggs I guess or I don't know not cameos easter eggs I guess in the Resident Evil series so you basically have to pull on the rope of the man who was innocently executed and we know from the memo here that that would be the arsonist because he wasn't really guilty of arson as the sheriff basically imprisoned and killed an innocent man which is all sorts of messed up still happens today especially in small towns like that but it happens even in major cities people get accused for crimes they didn't commit and the evidence is flimsy or there's no evidence but they get locked up and thrown in jail and sometimes even executed for one reason or another so we know it's the arson so we're gonna pull that rope there James can get the rope. Get the rope, James. There we go. Should be unlocked now. Now, if you play the game on hard mode, there's actually a riddle there that is kind of... I don't know if it's heartbreaking but it's kind of emotionally breaking because you basically read the journal of the condemned innocent man who was going to die the next day and it really gets you because you know he did nothing wrong and you know the sheriff's claim is bullshit but he's going to be executed anyway because a nice convenient scapegoat being a stranger to the town so you kind of read his memo his journal and it's filled with a lot of details really 
and it gives you a bleak view because you realize that this was not just a puzzle the town created for you as stamped on right there. This was an actual human being who got killed in the town despite being innocent for something that he didn't commit and that's all sorts of messed up especially because the town prides itself on giving justice to people you know you saw it earlier with the executioners oh yeah we forgot to go pick up the key But yeah, for a town that's so that's so religious and prides itself on giving out justice to people, it really has a dark background of innocent people getting caught up in things that they shouldn't have. And it especially shows you how corrupt that the authorities in the town are. You know, without giving a lot of spoilers, they're basically sold to the order. And then the order themselves are hypocrites, so like it's a lot of corruption everywhere. And that that just part of the town's whole destructive nature. Key of the persecuted. The paper that was covering the corpse's face is lying here. Executed. Key left by prisoner who was wrongly executed. It's also messed up that that still happens today. Like I won't get into the politics or details of it because it's a dicey, very complicated subject. But it's let me just say it's still amazing that even today people push for people to be killed, knowing almost that they might be completely innocent but if they don't like them for one reason or another then it's like oh well what do we care you know we got to get the right man this guy will do just fine even if he is innocent and there have been certain politicians I won't say who who have pushed sometimes for men to be executed even after they were declared innocent just that just shows you how cold hard as some people are that they don't care if a person's guilty or not if they think they're guilty they automatically deserve to die without a trial or anything like that even if they never did any of the crimes that they were accused of committing so that's it's locked we gotta go here first let's go find maria and get herself some booty you know Let's go get some cake, James, like Bash says. Maria? Maria? Maria, no! What happened to you? Why?
last point. So let's 
let's just save up and we'll be done for the night. Because I gotta check on my progress on the PS4 and see if the Resident Evil 2 demo finished downloading yet. Because I was gonna play that tonight. It might be streaming. You know, since it was a time demo and I heard that it's only 30 minutes, so I thought it might have streamed, but no, you basically have to download it. And I guess the, once you log in and try to play it, the internet timer, I guess the PSN starts to monitor you and then it determines if you've used up your 30 minutes. So I have to keep, I have to check on that, see how it's downloading. Major 